Right, despite there being no update on the notification side of the update.kia.com website, I'm reliably informed that there is a December update. Um, I actually did see a note from somebody in the comments that said there was one, but the automatic um, website thing is not shown me as an update. So let's see. I've downloaded it and put it on the uh, my SD card in an adapter. So firstly, put it into utility mode. There we go. Car must be on for this. Um, I'll just check the existing versions. Updated 22nd the 11th. Software version 21.11.17. Firmware 21.1.1.2. Navigation app was 21.11.17. Map version was ending in 401.5. This is where you plug a USB stick in when you're doing a software update. There we go. 21.12.14. So yeah, definitely is an update. So um, I'll do an update now. Okay. Uh, update. And that goes on for quite a while. Right. I'm now going to lock the car using the easy method um, whilst in utility mode. So make sure you've got the key in your pocket. Don't lock it in the car. Um, car is on, utility mode is on, there, open driver's window, lock, pull the window. Right, it's done. Power the car off. And power it back on. Let's see what version we've got. Okay, uh, the software got updated from 21.11.17 to 21.12.14. Um, also, the navigation app got it updated, and that's fixed the bug in the crashing um, navigation app. Uh, but the maps stay the same. Things in this update, um, which I found from elsewhere, a list. Um, reverse gear bug, Kia cars fixed. KPH to MPH option in the cluster UK fixed. Random navigation crashes, all models fixed. New more intelligent route planning when the destination is too far and available, EV charges will be listed along the route. New compasses, new weather, pixel design battery icon, whatever that is. Also noticed new to this update is the option to update after vehicle is turned off. That is a brand new thing. I wish I'd spotted that, because that would have saved me having to put it into utility mode and then keep an eye on it. I could have just left it to it. So, next update, I'll do it that way. I better unplug the USB. 